what's up? Hey. How's it going? Great. <laughs> and uh, how was your ride over here? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. We and, uh, uh, we had a couple of beers, you know, and we're feeling good. Nice. And what were you listening to on the way over here? I don't think anything. Uh, You're oh. supposed to say KSCU. Oh. KSCU. KSCU. <laughs> there you go. Actually, actually, you know what? I was listening to the Power Pop show earlier in the car. There you <laughs> on go. My, on my way down here. And that's what I want to hear. Backspace. Yeah, we saw him Which walking I've been out to, um, as we were walking in. Not really nineties. <laughs> so, um. Resistant Me is the name of the band here. I've got three members. Is this the whole group? We're missing our guitar player who um, is currently on a mission to Africa right now. Yeah, his zebra missed him. (laughs) 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 There was a slight controversy. They're like, should we tell the truth about where he is or should we kind of like, you know, make a funny story? And yeah, so there you go. (laughs) Okay, well, we got three of you guys in here. You're called Resistant Me. And I'm going to go around to each one of you so you can introduce yourselves. We'll start with the lead lady here you are sin acevedo and i'm the lead singer um nate um you have to get okay nate drummer um anthony and i play bass awesome okay (laughs) resistant me is the name of the band how would you guys describe your music i would say that it is a kind of a new grunge a new version of grunge it's like well with the 80s flair like the Cure meets Madonna meets Nirvana almost. Awesome. Yeah. yeah I'd cool. like well, to say if, if, if Heart and The Cure had a baby, maybe maybe a little bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, you guys. Um, how long have you been together as a group, Resistant Me? Well, Resistant Me kind of got kicked off a good six, seven years ago. Um, so, yeah, about that long, um, you know. We've had a couple of members, you know, switch out, but um, as a whole, it's been going for about six, seven years. Nice. Yeah, I've been in the band for two years so far. How do you like it so, so far? Just, oh, it's fun. It's great. I it's it's just it's something different than I've done, and I love playing the music. It's it's just kind of a a good fresh feeling. And what are your influences? You know, I've been into a lot of old school punk. A lot of um, different type of, type of stuff. I, I I love everything from they might be giants to aggression to Doctor No to um, like some new model army and um, fire hose. A lot of different stuff. And the drummer. Well, as far as drummers are concerned, um, that's good enough. Uh, okay. I guess you could say uh, my earliest influence was um, Animal from the Muppets. So he's pretty. Good. <laughs> <laughs> he's a great influence. Yeah, yeah he's wild. And um, puppet is all punk rock. Um, okay. Smashing Pumpkins, Jimmy Chamberlain, um, uh, bands, even modern bands nowadays are, are an influence to me. You know? Have you been in the band for the full length pretty of the much, band? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Nate has been with me since like pretty much I started. So. Wow. Yeah. He's old school. <laughs> He's a veteran. How long have you been playing drums? Oh, well, maybe fifteen years. Wow, yeah, so. that's awesome. And you, Sin, how long have you been singing? Well, that's one question. I mean, you know. I've been singing since I was a kid, so, okay. but singing in a band for probably about 13 years. Okay. Around you, there, 12, 13. Do you do anything else in the band besides sing? Maybe some tambourine or anything? No, like no, 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 no tambourine. Yeah. But um, <laughs> throughout the years, you know, sometimes I, I do play rhythm guitar and I play bass as well. So we went through a period there where we didn't have a bass player. So I was playing bass for about a year. And I was like, you know, I need more interaction with the crowd. I need to, like, really focus on, you know, um, being the lead singer. So I scouted Anthony out, who I've known for years through the, you know, local scene and whatnot. Um, we used to go see Betty's Love Child together. <laughs> wow. Years, yeah, ago. years ago. Yeah, like years back in the late 90s. That's so, awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, well, we want to hear some of your stuff. Uh, I know you just gave me a CD. I'm going to play a track off of it. Any particular one you want me to start off with? Or uh, just the first one? What is, what's number one? Yeah, yeah, number one. Tomorrow. Okay, what's it called? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. This is Tomorrow by Resistant Me. And after we uh, play the song, we'll ask him some more questions. Here on KSU Santa Clara. <laughs>
KSU Santa Clara, 103.3 FM, The Underground Sound. What song was that? That actually wasn't tomorrow. It was... That was Rockstar, which is a song from our video that you could find on YouTube. Yeah. So go to uh, YouTube.com and then type in Resistant Me Rockstar. And that is our latest music video. What is that song about? Well, it's kind of (laughs) self-explanatory. It's about being a rock star. That's awesome. (laughs) Okay. Now, the name name of the band, Resistant Me, how did you come up with that? Okay. Well, it's kind of a deep story about... Is is it a secret? (laughs) Well, no. It's like, okay... It's a noir novel. It's like you, you're at something, right? You're you're like working at something for a long time and it starts to get to you. You're like, give up, you know, because it's been a long time. Give up, give up, right? So I'm like resistant to that. Resistant me, you know, like okay. I'm I'm resisting giving up. Wow. That kind of thing. It's pretty strong. Okay, now if all the listeners out there, how would they find information on you guys, like on the web? Do you guys have a website or yes. Facebook or MySpace? You can go to www.resistantme.com, and there you could find this demo available for download. And you could also <laughs> go to uh, facebook.com slash resistantme, or just look up Resistant Me on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook a is Facebook a good page. way. And then what about Bandcamp? That yeah. that we have a band camp that is connected to um resi- resistantme.com. Yeah. Okay. So if you go to resistantme.com it leads you to our band camp site. Yes, that's exactly what it does and you could just hear the rockage from there. And then um <laughs> any shows coming up? Yeah, actually uh, May 17th we're going to be playing at St. James Gate in Belmont. So if you take 101 towards San Francisco, it's kind of like halfway between here and SF. Are kind of near San Carlos and Redwood yeah, City? Yeah, kind of Redwood City, San, Car- San Carlos area. So, yeah, it's called uh, St. James Gate in Belmont, and that's May 17th. We're actually uh, opening up that show at 945. Who's the headliner? So, um, Let's see. Well, I know that Discordia is on the bill, Lip Shock is on the bill, and also uh, Shattered Glass. So it's an uh, all-female-fronted night. Women That Rock, that's the name of the uh, night. Okay, I guess I'll be there. (laughs) (laughs) It's definitely a must-go-to show. Yeah, I know that the other singers are also equally, you know, as awesome, so. Wow. (laughs) I I bring my camera, too. Um, (laughs) Anyway, um, your next song, is that tomorrow? I think that's tomorrow. (laughs) tomorrow. What's that song? We made it make sure. Oh, should we make sure? Okay. I think well, we, we can't do that. And you should just go for it. Yeah. Should we just do that? Let's just, just go for it. it. Live on do the it. edge. Resistant me roulette. <laughs> <laughs>
KSCU Santa Clara 103.3 FM the underground sound now, that was tomorrow yeah, that was tomorrow by resistant me and the ever lovely sexy sin hey. right in front of me here she <laughs> is really really hot let me tell you guys Thank I mean you. she's really got it going with the hair and the clothes she's got the rock star clothes she's the done. red high heels the short <laughs> skirt as I'm yeah, she's got those sexy Spanish eyes, man. Really yeah. going on. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> got to check out the Facebook page. I'm not kidding you. It's it's pretty serious. And then check out the photos on their website. Yeah. Resistantme.com. Mm-hmm. And she does her eyes very lovely with the makeup. Thank you. And the earrings are also very cool. <laughs> okay, we're getting a little too hot and heavy in here. <laughs> we turn the air conditioner on. Yeah, things are getting dingly in here. Wait, let me check out your YouTube video. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys, once again, are playing May 17th, 17th at, at St. James Gate in Belmont. Be there at 9 o'clock if you want to be there at 9 o'clock sharp. Get some drinks in you, and you know how it is. It's going to be an all-female-fronted show for bands. Some of the bands are like kind of a, a gothic, uh, Celtic kind of metal style, too. Ooh, Steel Corey would and love so that. And so it's going to be it's gonna be a great, great, great eclectic Night, Night of women rocking. Women rocking with men backing them up. Heck but the yeah. women are in the front. They're the strong ones here. That is right. And the ever lovely Sin Thank sitting you. here in front of me. Very, very pretty. <laughs> right, Ryan? DJ Ryan? Well, DJ Ryan's in the house. DJ Come Ryan is in the house. We needed a roadie. Yes. Thank you for stopping by, DJ Ryan. Oh, thanks for uh, having this band. Uh, Cynthia was on my show back in 2002. Uh, wow. Maybe I debuted you. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> first time that came, was so. that was my first time on any radio, actually. That's back awesome. then. Yeah, O2. Yeah, I'm, I'm still living in the area. I miss KSU, you know. Yeah. Um, might come back someday. But uh, I'm glad you're still here, Mark. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Basement, then, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, last He's time locked up in the basement, then. Now they have a new... <laughs> Uh, facility <laughs> with a window you can come here right now and see us and stare at mark i recommend you <laughs> tomorrow morning when he's on air uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. get out of the bar come down here and <laughs> stare at your favorite yeah. dj in You'll fact ryan ryan came with us when we went to uh the bone yeah oh and let's talk about the bone now you we have had. they're going to be playing a resistant me on the bone aren't they, they have oh, been they, they have yeah. actually um we were song? we were in the studio with steven seaweed what was that like a month or two Maybe ago a couple months ago yeah, yeah. and uh he really liked our song rockstar and he endorsed it he gave the cd over to uh jaeger and now they're playing it sundays on local licks That's, what time is local licks i don't know what time it starts but i know it's sunday evening sunday evening okay i think it's six anyway check that out on the bone that's yeah. going on there that's pretty big time for yeah you, you can call and request it even Oh. So, yeah, call, request, resist And you could call and request it on KSCU, too, probably. Oh, that's better, yes. <laughs> that's even better. <laughs> I've been listening to the station so long. I, I listen to a lot of rock, punk, and pop. And who well, are you again? Like your your name. Anthony. Anthony. Oh, that's Anthony. 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 Some people call me Ant. Ant or Animal or Anthony Agro. <laughs> You're the bass player of the band? I'm the bass player of the band. And we st- got the drummer here, too. We got the drummer. Let's yeah. get his two cents Nate. worth on the band in here. Yeah. Talk. How do you like being in Resistant Me? He's quiet most of the time. That's fine. I'll get him to talk. (laughs) (laughs) Stimulate me. (laughs) Um, Well, I want to know more about what got you started in the drumming. Something had to influence you there. Maybe a rock band or a song or a genre? Okay, that's it. Killing Joke. We got all their their vinyl here. Tribal Deluxe. (laughs) That's pretty good. Okay. Sin, looking so lovely there, sitting there. Very pretty. Um... I want to know, what do you normally listen to on your spare time as far as music is concerned? Well, I listen to so many different kinds of music, so that's a tough one. But uh, let's say Elvis Presley. Okay. Uh, Let's say Def Leppard. Nice. A lot of 80s. I really like 80s music a lot. Do you know why that is? Madonna even. What was that? Do you know why that is? Uh, Because I grew up with that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I like some 70s rock, too, like Leonard Skinner and okay. that type of stuff. A lot of f- 50s music, too. You, like I said, um, Elvis Presley, um, Dion and the Beaumonts, doo-wop music, like old school, good time rock and roll influenced by blues stuff. So, I mean, I like a lot of stuff. I like some new stuff, too, though. Like, um, I liked 
Coheed and Cambria's new stuff. Like the last two albums were pretty cool. Thirty Seconds to Mars. Um, you know, that kind of. How about the local scene here? Are you much into any bands locally that you there like? There are some bands that I like locally. Yeah, we support all the local bands, you know, pretty much. There you go. I mean, support, yeah. But I mean, as far as really like and go see, there's a handful of bands that... Oh, I, love I mean, Anthony's really I into the local shows, scene. And I do like a lot of, lot of, lot of local bands. In fact... Um, there's, there's so many I can't even think of right now, like Tijuana, <laughs> a lot of um, um, I've heard of that some band. bands I can't say the names of on the air. <laughs> You've got a lot of a lot of oh man, it's so like <laughs> flooding my mind. I can't think of any names. You ever get that thing where yeah, you want to yeah, recall yeah. something and you can't recall anything? I don't even know my middle name right now. <laughs> where are we? <laughs> where are we? Yeah, that's cool, you guys. <laughs> we're listen. We're that's interviewing a resistant me here in the studio. KSU Santa Clara 103.3 FM, The Underground Sound. I'm Modern Mark. This is Modern Mayhem. These guys gave me an EP. We've already played two tracks off of it, and I'm getting ready to play the third one. Do you guys know what it's called? I think that is uh, Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. All right. Yeah. I don't think I need to ask you what this one's about. No, not at all. Okay, <laughs> this is Resistant Me doing Heartbreaker. KSU Santa Clara 103.3 FM, the underground sound. Modern Mark, welcome once again to Modern Mayhem here. I'm here with the band Resistant Me, at least three quarters, three quarters of the band. What's up? And we're talking about their show coming up, their new EP. And that song right there, that was called Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. How do you guys feel right now? I feel like I want to go out and party. Nice. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. I just yeah. Honestly, I mean. I want to take an inventory on your stock. Oh, yeah, we got big stock here, huh? 
Okay. A lot of records, a lot of tapes, a lot of just yeah, kidding. Just There's the no tapes in there. Here. It's, <laughs> it's okay. really intense. That's right. It is. And then Resistant Me, the band, which is here. You guys have a website, resistantme.com, right. as well as Facebook. Um, where do you guys see yourselves in the future? Next six months, a year? Uh, we want to start playing a lot more shows, get out on the road. We're trying to find maybe find an indie label to carry us so yeah. we can get them. Um, really get out there. You just want to get the sound out and get the music going on. Is yeah. there a particular indie label you worship or you want to be mm-hmm. on, you know? Is... You know what? I don't think I worship any labels. <laughs> <laughs> I used to collect um, some uh, Mystic records, but I don't think that's the way we're going to go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it'd be awesome to get on tour with like a national act, like opening for somebody who's already kind of got some you know, notoriety. Is there any bands or artists you're, you'd like to play or open with? Hmm. I mean, there's a bunch. But I mean, we can, I mean, any label or, you know, national act that's willing to have us. I mean, we're not going to be like, no, you know, so. Yeah, yeah I just love to play. Yeah. Play out, I think we just want to kind of get out there and play a lot more and, um, you know, try to attract some attention from fans and indie labels. I mean, that's what we that's what you guys want to no do yeah in the sky dreams you know it's just it's got to do the what about what about t-shirts you guys got t-shirts we, we had we had some we had some but i don't know i mean i think i lost them, oh, you lost <laughs> them? <laughs> i mean well i moved i moved a few years ago so i don't know where they are <laughs> they anymore fell off the moving truck. <laughs> <laughs> some guy's wearing them right now in an alley he's just like mm, i really like this shirt <laughs> oh, he has, a he has an endless supply in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome supporting the drink it ta- drinking habits of people everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh well i want to thank you guys for being on the show tonight yeah thank you so much for having us yeah now mention that show again when is that may 17th that. may 17th may 17th it's in belmont saint james gate. at saint james gate nine saint o'clock gate. be there at nine o'clock now is that is that an outdoor venue or is that an they indoor have, venue uh, in indoor and it's outdoor both space, yeah, yeah both okay well thank you guys for being on the show yeah thank you for having us seriously yeah. So we're going to, um, I guess we're going to give away a CD, aren't we? Yes. So let's do that. You know, the first caller to call here at 408-554-5728 gets a free CD mailed out to them from the lovely Sin herself. Yeah, personally. So this is what you want. 408-554-KSCU. And now we're going to leave you with their next song. Good night. Number nine. 